Welcome to the Odyssey. I am Mike Odyssey, and my friend, there is something definitely on the way from Nintendo, and Nintendo is not yet done with 2024. We're not talking about Nintendo Switch 2. We're talking about Nintendo Switch games. When I'm, I mean, first-party games, you know, like Mario, Zelda, Splatoon, and all these amazing games we all love and know. So let's go ahead and talk about what this means. And I want to show you a little behind the scenes what I have kind of discovered here on my own that proves that Nintendo is up to something. Something is coming very soon in the month of April. So let's get started. But if you are new here, check this out. If not, use the timestamp below to get to the main story. So before we get into today's stories, you see, I want to ask you one thing. I want to ask for your subscription. You see, I am legally blind and I'm basically losing my sight uh, as we go. I don't have sight on my left eye. And I have about 40% sight of my right eye. And it's just fading away, right? The doctors right now have nothing else they can do. But I have a dream to become a full-timer on YouTube by the end of this year. And I, I, I want to ask you for your help. Uh, if you subscribe to this channel right now, it'll only take a second. For me, it'll just change my life. So if you could do that right now, I would really appreciate it. Here, we have Monday through Friday Nintendo news. On the weekends, we have products and reviews. And we also have the occasional and topic podcast with your favorite voice actor. So I would really appreciate it. It will mean the world to me. And I just want to thank you in advance for giving me your subscription. Let's move on to today's stories. All right. So today... We are talking about Nintendo Switch games and what Nintendo could potentially have in store for us for the month of April. Right now, we are, uh, after the recording of this video, it is March 21st, and, well, March is almost over, right? So I'm, I'm guessing that, well, there's nothing else uh, that Nintendo might have planned for the month of March. Right now, PAX. PAX East just started today, and if we look here, this is uh, footage by game explain where we see that nintendo really has nothing in their nintendo booth nintendo decided to make a booth at the very last minute on pax which was announced only days ago and if you see on the screen they literally have nothing they just created another pokemon booth but called it nintendo and what does the pokemon booth have well it has pokemon demos for you to play that's basically it so it's like nintendo is holding back you might think that they might show princess peach showtime or you know paper mario or luigi's mansion or even mario versus donkey kong which was just released last month or even another code recollection in january and have it in this booth for people to play but no they decided to literally go with just pokemon for both of their booths at the uh uh the place at the pax pax east yeah right there so what does this mean for Nintendo? What does this mean behind the scenes? And, well, I want to take you somewhere really quick here to show you a little thing that I have, I have noticed with my journalistic eye with Nintendo and why I believe that this is pointing to more coming. So we are here at the press room here, pressroom.nintendo. I have an account with Nintendo as a press uh, person so we can go here to nintendo switch in game so we can go ahead and look at all the games they have right you can see this is the list of basically every single game released for nintendo which is first party games right or first party related games so let's go ahead and click here to adjust the date and there you have it this is now up to date as we can see here everything in 2024 that is scheduled to be released we started with another recollection in january mario versus donkey kong last month in february uh this friday tomorrow we have princess peach showtime endless ocean in may may 2nd also in may we have paper mario thousand year door but it's not yet updated here and then in june we have luigi's mansion now but i i, I really want to point you towards the fact that this here has not yet been updated and nintendo normally does update this after every big presentation when they are done presenting they update now the very last thing they did was they actually just kind of gave us this this endless ocean um update and they added it to the schedule for may 2nd which was on a nintendo direct partner showcase right so after every nintendo direct they actually update this list and it, it's it's has happened without failing nintendo updates the list 
after a Nintendo Direct. When they announce something uh, after a Nintendo Direct, then they, uh, they normally update it. Now, the lack of updates here for Paper Mario and Luigi's Mansion tells me that Nintendo is not yet done and that they are waiting until the next Nintendo Direct, which will be a full Nintendo Direct, not a part of the showcase, not anything else, but a full Nintendo Direct dedicated to Nintendo first party games in order to update this list once again. Now, if you even click here on Paper Mario 1000 Your Door, it doesn't even give you a release date. They have not updated what whatsoever. You can see here all the screenshots from the games, which by the way, looks incredible. And I cannot wait for this game to come out on Nintendo Switch. Man, it is a remake, not a, a, a remaster or an HD. It's a remake of Paper Mario 1000 Your Door. And so same thing with Luigi's Mansion HD, right? We can come here and look at here. There's no release date on there yet, but you, we can see the, the screenshots for the game Luigi's Mansion uh, 2 HD, which was renamed from Dark Moon, right? It was Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Now it's been renamed to Luigi's Mansion 2 HD for the Nintendo Switch. And so basically this has been something I've been following for a while you know, that Nintendo normally does behind the scenes here on the press website after they are done announcing for a while, right? Let's say the Nintendo Direct comes up in, in April. They announce a couple more games. This thing will update, right? This will update to all the games they have, like, aligned for the year, and then they'll leave it, right, until the next Nintendo Direct. But only happens during Nintendo Direct. They don't, it doesn't happen um, with Twitter drops, right? So... That is one thing that I wanted to point out that I've been kind of looking at, you know, over the years on how Nintendo works. I know it's something small, but it is something, right? And now with this, there is a Nintendo Direct that is rumored to make it in the month of April. No, it is not April Fools. It's April in the month of April. Let's go ahead and open the calendar right here real quick and show you when I believe the Nintendo Direct could take place. Uh, for Nintendo and uh, we are here in March let's go ahead and go over to April and let's do this right here so right here we got uh, daylight savings in March let's go over to April April Easter is on uh, March 31st April Fool's Day nope no direct there it's a Monday Nintendo normally does their directs on Wednesday or Thursday so we could expect the Nintendo Direct in any of these four days either the 10th or the 11th or the 17th or the 18th those are the four days that i can narrow down the nintendo direct to take place they never take place towards the end of the month they normally take place towards either the beginning or the middle so i would normally say these four months now it could be any of these six days but i'm gonna go ahead for the purpose of this video just say 10th 11th 17 to 18 and there is nothing else for april like there are no releases for april planned for nintendo that's why we believe that the nintendo direct is a perfect um, uh, um you know planned for april and not only that we will also get a shadow drop game right there should be a game shadow drop for the month of april which will be april's game nintendo has literally spoiled us to a point where they've been giving us a game every single month of the year except for december sometimes right and so if we look at here at the calendar for uh last year in january right we have fire emblem february we got two games but why did we get two games because metro prime um remastered was shadow dropped on the eShop, right and then we had kirby's dreamland deluxe bayonetta and then uh april we got advanced wars May, we got uh, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And then on June, we have Pikmin 1 and 2, which, by the way, were also shadow dropped during the Nintendo Direct in June. Then we got Pikmin 4 for the month of July. Uh, we had August, by the way, without a date, without a, without a game. And then F-099, Detective Pikachu in, in, in October. Then November was the last, uh, the last month where we got mario rpg and wario where move it so november would be the last time we will see a game for nintendo switch like an announcement for nintendo switch and 
Well, with that, let me go ahead and take you to my wish list. My wish list, I put it on Twitter, which by the way, you can follow me here on Twitter at Mike Odyssey YT. I actually tweet here every day. I actually, this is considered content. So I actually tweet here every day. And, um, you know, I could, uh, you know, my post here, but this is my, my wish list here for the actual uh, direct. I kind of said April 11th here, which is basically one of the four days that I chose for the day. I call this my realistic list right here, which is kind of funny because it's not really realistic. It's, it's, it's what I want, right? Metroid Prime 2 and 3, I would put that on April as a shadow drop, right? Then Metroid Prime 4, an announcement also, but I would put that for a November release. That's going to be the big day, the big holiday game, right? Then we get Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. No Twilight Princess, just Wind Waker. That one released for October. Then, of course, because this is my list, I can put whatever I want. I want to put GameCube and DS coming in July for NSO. Another game that I would that, that I hope makes it is Hyrule Warriors, which by the way, it's not a first party game. It's it's a third party game, but using first party um, you know, assets like Le 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 Legend of Zelda. And so it's only fitting that we get also our, our Hyrule Warriors with the Imprisoning War theme on it, just from Tears of the Kingdom, right? And I would put that for October, right? October of 2024. Then another game that I would, I would, I think it's most likely we're going to see it. It's Mario and Sonic Olympics Paris 2024, because this is a, a, a year of the Olympic. And normally we have gotten for the past couple of, of, of Olympic games, we've gotten a Mario versus Sonic uh, game. So I, I put that out there. I put this here because it's a fan favorite, a f big giant fan game that everybody wants. Mario Galaxy 2 HD. Hopefully we get that. It's a port year and a remake year. So hopefully we get that. Uh, Mario 35 and Mario 40. This is like the Mario 35th. The game that's on NSO will probably make a return because I saw a patent re regarding that um, recently and maybe... Nintendo is celebrating Mario's 40th anniversary, which is the 40th anniversary from when the the uh, Mario Brothers game came out on the arcade in 1983. The Ma Super Mario Brothers came out in 1985, but the very first Mario game, Mario Brothers, came out in 1983, which will make this year, uh, well, last year, kind of, last year, the 40th anniversary of Super Mario, and then of course a plethora of farming games, and of course Hollow Knight Silk Song, which yeah, I don't know if that game still exists, but I put that for January of 2025. So that's my list for this Nintendo Direct coming, um, hopefully next next in, in, in the next couple of weeks. We are in March 21st. We're almost at the end, and it's 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 just exciting, right? So that that that's my list. I think that Nintendo will actually kind of um you know give us give us good games to finish out this year and i'm i'm saying this if we don't hear from the nintendo switch to this year so that kind of rhymed right but yeah hopefully we do hear for switch to this year and maybe it comes out this year as well we don't know maybe nintendo has planned to reveal it in in april that's another possibility we could see the nintendo switch to reveal in april and then um, out in October, right? There, there, that's another big giant possibility that could still be in 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 the lines because nobody really has the last word until Nintendo actually said so, right? We have the rumors out there. We have people speculating that this is going to happen here and there. But in the very end, my friends, who has the very last word? Nintendo, right? So we can either get more games like this or we can actually see the Nintendo Switch to reveal. And this could be, this, this could end up being the best year ever, right? So <laughs> let me got, let me let me know what you guys think down below. I have some comments here that, that uh, I'm in response to my list from Crazy Scott. Shout out to Crazy Scott. I don't think this list is realistic. And I'm like, I'm like, you are correct when saying that you don't think it's realistic. It's my realistic list. And I put that little, you know, that thing there because it, it's mine. It's mine. And then we have Mike. This is the, Mike, this is a crazy list. I only see half this list happening uh, if there is a direct. And um, I'm hopefully, hopefully it's the the uh, the top half, right? And then we have. Uh, I will love this realistic list. So yeah, this is my own 
realistic list. Super March 1990 said, we will know for certain when MP4 Metro Prime 4 launches April or Fall Direct, which is uh, August, September, right? I'm, I'm not sure if Nintendo will go that far with it without a Direct. But yeah, my friends, that is going to do it. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys believe, what you guys think. It doesn't matter if it's, no, Mike, nothing is coming. Or, Mike, I, I completely agree with you. I, I respect everybody's opinion individually. And guess what? I will hard your comment once you do. All right. That is going to do it. But before I let you go, never give up and journey on. Peace.